Yo, what is going on YouTube? This is your boy, Comrade Zero Spike. Back again once again. It's today, people. Today, we're here for Comrade Revice episode 15. This is a great episode, yo. This is a great episode. We had some awesome sibling fights. We had some, well, te sibling team up fights. We got the return of Kagado for another split second. <laughs> and um, we got the reveal of like how the rest of the dead men how all the dead men are trash except for julio julio the julio the homie i don't care no more julio is the homie i thought you know i i, I don't know he's just out of all of them except aguilera too but out of all of them yeah we I, I like i like julio julio got some real love going on but we see that they ended up they essentially have been lying to or uh not orteca have been lying to aguilera this whole time about her actually getting ready to marry gif but instead of marrying gif she ends up um there she's going to be a sacrifice for a gift and basically become one with him and we see as you know julio is not having it <laughs> he's not freaking having it and it gets to a point where you know she ends up she ends up accepting it and you know it <coughs> god she ends up accepting it anyway so that so that's the thing so we see that the rest of every we see that everybody else is figuring out where exactly is the um the dead man's base and turns out the dead men's are you know they he turns out their whole base is basically a, a giant ship essentially <laughs> and they're under and we find out that they are under the uh the, they're under the water like they're under the coast so they they're trying to figure they're trying to figure out like the special way of getting into that place so what they did was we see that our three siblings they get together and then you know uh sakura <laughs> sakura has the sakura has the idea to see if hey if we can't get under there we can ask a demon we then basically uh maybe kagado should know so what the, so they get Dai so Daiji's not for it. He's like, no, 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 I don't wanna we don't need to do this, we don't need to do that. So they ended up going back to their family park that they always go to and they ended up hitching up and basically hitting basically uh hitting Daiji while he you know, hitting Daiji and turning him into basically pulling out Kagodo and they asked Kagodo, uh, what is you know, how you were part of the dead men's at first, so where is their base at? And he's like, Nah, I'm not telling y'all nothing. And he says, I only way I'm gonna tell y'all is if <laughs> only way I'm gonna tell y'all is if, if one thing. So he wanted some really he wanted that spicy curry. And he ends up eating a crap ton of the spicy curry, and then that's when he, you know, pa he actually passes out and turns back into Daiji. <laughs> so they ended up finding that they ended up finding out where the base is uh and also that boy george we knew that I, I knew that george you know had some kind of plan going on behind the scenes he put a micro transmitter on the gif uh stamp so he would you know he would know what they are he would know where the dead men's are so that's how he ended up finding out that they that their base is like under the coast on base basically underwater at the coastline so what they did was they go to this um it's a big it's like a big club it's called club freedom and they turns out there is a special uh there is a little there's a portal there's yeah there's a portal that like down in the ba basically like kind of like down in the lo basement looking spot and the password was gracias deadmans and then they open that portal and they go through that portal when they go through the portal they are based they are in their base so yeah, so like a lot of, and they we also see like a lot of like human people down there, like a lot of people who are part of this, uh, who are part of the Dead Man uh, cult, and they ended up uh, all the Phoenix members. They ended up arresting all the uh, cult lead, basically arresting all the uh, Dead Man cult members, and that's when a big fight ensues. Just when they're getting ready to fully sacrifice Aguilera, we see. Uh, 
the so we see our uh, Igarashi siblings run in there, and they end up in a fight with all the big all the big main dead men except for uh, Julio. So yeah, because Julio he gets like knocked out, <laughs> he gets like knocked out by Orteca. So we see everybody fighting in like the main like us uh, uh, dance or like the main like concert little part they had where they were having the concert and stuff. So what happened? <laughs> so we see everybody fighting. We see uh. Sakura, she's fighting the uh, the cult leader dude. Uh, yeah, if we're fighting the cult leader dude. We see Vice. He's fighting Vice, fighting the chameleon for a while, and then have for at one part, uh, the chameleon as he turns into uh, Vice, and then they start fighting each other and telling Iki that hey, I'm the real one. I'm the real one, and then uh, Iki just goes hey. What do you think about? He's like, hey, Vice, what do you think of my family? And one uh, one Vice goes, I love them a lot. And then the other Vice goes, they all look tasty. And then that's when Iki knows that, oh, okay, you're, he's like, oh, okay, you're the fake. And he hits the one that said, oh, I love them. <laughs> I guess that's because, you know, he, you know, Vice did try to eat his, fa eat his family, at one, eat his mom at one point. So I guess that was a good way to figure out that it was the real Vice. <laughs> but also... You see, they start fighting the chameleon. Uh, Vice ends up beating him, not killing him, but Vice ends up beating him. And then that's when that boy, that's when that boy Harombi comes in. He's looking down at the chameleon demon while he's still like disguised as uh, as disguised as the former commander. And he's like, "Yeah, I will lay down my life to protect this place, to protect the world." And he starts fighting him, and he starts beating the ever living crap out of the chameleon. Like he he beats him so hard that he beats him through a wall, and they ended up in like this abandoned like cave kind of area. And we see the debut of his new vice stamp, um, a scorpion vice stamp, which basically just gives him a big uh scorpion tail. And he's still fighting him. We see that Orteca ends up getting beaten by uh. He doesn't die, but we see Orteca ends up getting beaten, and he gets blown back to where, uh, to where Chameleon and Haromi are. <laughs> I thought he was gonna, I thought he was gonna like try and, you know, they was gonna try and like, you know, tag team on Haromi, but that didn't happen. So we see that the Ether they ended up defeating, uh, they ended up defeating uh, Kodo, uh, Kudo and uh, the cult leader guy. They ended up defeating them. And when they defeated them, they ended up fading away. They ended up fading away and their energy ended up going inside of Gif. So, yeah. So, I guess that's no more of them. Like, when they faded away, their whole bodies faded away. So, there was no, like, human body left behind or anything like that. So, I feel like, like, they died. Like they're inside of Gift now. They gave it, basically just gave Gift some energy, and we see Aguilera. She's still sitting there, strapped to this chair, and uh, Julio's still knocked out. We see that Vice and Iki end up going in there to help them, and you know, you know, Aguilera's like, no, no. He's like, no, I don't want to. He's like, no, you leave me alone. I didn't ask you to save me, all that stuff. And she's like, what's the point of me even surviving if I can't even marry Gif? And they ended up saving her. Any, they ended up uh, getting her. I hear her and Julio out of there anyway. And we see that. We see that now that the whole freaking place is about to blow. Whole freaking place is about to blow up, and it start and it starts to like rise out of the uh, out of the ground, and it flies into the ground and it flies into the sky. And basically, this whole giant, this whole base was a ship. And please, I'm like, please, 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 don't make the don't make the freaking dead men alien aliens or something, because that'd be so that'd be a cop out, that'd be so stupid. <laughs> but yeah, they send up the uh, the base ends up turning into a ship and flying into the air, and we see Iki uh, after you know Vice says, hey, I got these two guys, I uh, I'll get them both out here. You need to go and uh, take this. You need, you you got spotlight now. So what happens is we see Iki in his braid Rex form. He ends up uh, going, flying into the sky. He's up flying into the sky, and he's up summoning all of the remixes. You know, like poke. They were all coming out of a giant egg case, and every time they he would summon one of them, they would pop out of an egg. And he was summoning, you know, all the different uh remix, all the different remixes to help him destroy this, to help him to destroy the ship. So he starts destroying the ship with all the remixes. Looks actually it looks really really cool to see all these you know different beast, big old animal things coming out and um, destroying the ship and stuff like that. 
and after they ended up destroying the ship, after they ended up destroying the ship, we see Gif is still left in there. His whole, you know, his, uh, like his statue of him, you know, had doesn't have, it still fully doesn't have a lot of energy left because it only had, it only got two people. So it ended up, um, getting the, sh that whole ship ended up getting destroyed. And yeah, also we saw, uh, Hiromi actually beat the crap. <laughs> actually was able to take down the chameleon, even though he didn't beat him, but he didn't like, he didn't destroy him. But yeah, he ends up getting his, um, just i guess he got somewhat of his revenge i feel like he won't be fully satisfied until you know he actually destroys him destroys him but yeah so the only dead men's left that are on the same side the only dead men's left are orteca and uh orteca chameleon uh aguilera and julio there's the only dead men that are left and I'm pretty sure Julio and Aguilera are not going to be teamed up with Orteca and who or Gina Orteca and Chameleon, because they see because they y'all straight up tried to sacrifice her and y'all basically told her, well basically basically lied to her and stuff like that. So and I'm pretty sure Julio don't want nothing to do with Orteca after all the beatings he gave Orteca in this episode. <laughs> but after that, we end up seeing like she's crying for Gifu, and then that episode, and then that's why episode basically ends off right there. But this is a great episode. It had great fight choreography. It was uh, a lot going on. We had it was a lot going on. Introduction to new vice stamps. Uh, a really really cool, uh, a really really cool performance from Iki by him using all the uh, him you know him destroying the ship and him using all the remixes to help him uh, destroy the ship as well i didn't think he could do that <laughs> but i guess now that he's in braid rex he can really do that he has braid rex he can really do that so but um it has me thinking like what are, or what's what's aguilar and um and julio gonna do now you know i don't think and, and also gifu's not destroyed he's not destroyed or anything i don't think he's destroyed or anything like that that guy that we haven't even seen this guy's power yet we haven't seen this guy talk yet and also the um the uh gifu vice stamp was left inside the ship as well unless they unless next episode would they have it back or in something like that but other than that like the gif vice stamp is still left inside of the ship and gifu himself is still left inside the ship and and we saw like when he was coming to, like, when he was getting re resurrected, we saw, like, his arm, like, we saw, like, his hand coming up and getting ready to stamp down on the contracts before, you know, they got interrupted by the, uh, by the Ikarashi siblings, but, yeah, man, like, he, he's got some, and also, he's got some energy, so maybe he'll come out and maybe he'll break up, maybe he'll break out and come out in some kind of, you know, in some kind of, like, maybe weaker form or something like that maybe he'll come back like that you know now that he has some energy but other than that though may hopefully they still hopefully next episode that they have they they end up scout they end up you know salvaging the ship and stuff like that and finding the gift by stamp but other than that though uh it was a lot. It was a whole lot going on. But other than that, um, what do you think uh, Orteca and, you know, Chameleon are going to do now? Now that, you know, everything's gone. Technically, every, technically, technically everything's gone. Because um, they, you know, that Aguilera is not going to come back. Aguilera and, and Julio aren't going to come back to them. So what's next? <laughs> and also the guy who may, who can mass produce, um, the guy who could mass produce uh dead men for them he's gone kudos gone so what's next but you guys let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about this episode uh what do you think what do you think is gonna happen next who you think is gonna be the next do you think gifu is gonna is still alive to some capacity and he's gonna come back in some capacity you know stuff like that like you guys let me know and i'll see you guys next time and remember stay henshin